So here's the diagram that we built in the last screencast. We were changing the price of food and seeing how our optimal bundle changed. Well, since we're holding everything constant except for the price of food, we can build our demand curve for food, right? So the price of food changes, we get different quantities that we demand at each price. We can plot that on a demand curve. So what we'll do is we'll put a horizontal axis as the quantity of food, but the vertical will be the price of food. We're going to drop down the quantities that we found from our optimal bundles. So the $2 drops straight down and gets labeled. Same with the 10 and the 16. Now, when the price of food was $4, that's when we chose to buy two units of food. When the price of food was $2, we chose to buy 10 units. And when the price of food was $1, we chose to buy 16 units. If I connect these points, I've got my demand for food.